I'm putting you guys on different ways to smell amazing for less. You guys should not say I didn't do anything for you. Welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bella and this is bella's perfume diaries if this is your first time of stumbling on this channel perfume diaries is a series where we talk about perfumes a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle so if this is the kind of content you like please click that subscribe button and join the family and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thank you for tuning in once again on today's episode i'm going to be letting you guys in on my little secret of how I buy expensive perfumes for less. This is actually a collab video with Luxador perfume oils. Regardless of this being PR, I'm still going to tell you my honest review on these fragrances. So Luxador is a perfume oil brand that is based in Dubai. They sell high quality perfume oils sourced from Switzerland and they ship worldwide. That's the favorite part of all this because anytime I introduce you guys to a fragrance and I'm always seeing on the comments, where can I get it? Where can I shop it? I got a perfume brand that can ship to you worldwide. So they sell wholesales and retails. They have perfume oils from 10 grams to one kilogram. So if you want to buy in retails, they have something for you if you want to start your perfume oil brand they got you covered i'm going to be talking about the 10 perfumes that they sent to me which were my selections guys i cannot wait to show you guys these selections because i wanted to try these perfumes for the longest time i love the fact that they have all my favorites like all my favorite niche fragrances they have those bestseller designer perfumes as well and my favorite part was delivery from dubai took less than three days the delivery is even faster than within nigeria like sending stuff within nigeria is so sluggish these days and i'm really really excited that delivery for this company is really fast so you don't have any problem with that so this is how the fragrance came i think i did a video of the unboxing just quickly check my instagram i'm sure i'm going to post it there on my stories i love this bag like it's literally giving luxury guys have you ever seen a fragrance oil that is packaged like this it's just so classy and it's so, so pretty let me just take it out so you see so these are the 10 fragrance oils that i got i need you guys to look closely to this beauty i love their packaging like their packaging is a1 10 out of 10 it's so so pretty and this is what the oils look like so this is the 10 ml this is how it opens it actually comes in a roller ball i love when oils come in either roller balls or applicators to me droppers are really stressful so i love these roller balls when they come in perfume oils just really easy for you to you know put on your pulse points and go about your day and i love the fact that these perfume oils are very versatile so you can use them on your skin they don't irritate your skin at all you can also use them as your home fragrance you can pour them into your diffusers you can also make body mists out of them you can make perfumes out of them as well you can also make hairsprays i'm hoping to start off my hairspray line pretty soon that's another secret i'm giving you guys you can literally use it for a lot of things you can use it as a base before you apply your perfume or you can use it as your perfume because it projects beautifully on the skin i use this mostly on my skin i haven't tried it on my clothes now let's go into my selections which ones did i actually pick from this 10. i picked eight fragrances that i haven't tried before and two fragrances that i have in my collection just to compare and see how close they are with the actual fragrances so the first one i'll be talking about is good girl gone bad this is how the bottle looks i really love how classy minimalist rich and beautiful these oils look so i've been curious to know what good girl gone bad smells like because i've been hearing so much about it to me i'll describe this fragrance as a sweet powdery oh guys this perfume smells like a girl that was born into wealth like a rich body kid it has this sweet powdery luxurious feel to it i've been testing these fragrances and i absolutely love them it has that sweetness but not like extremely sweet it's very mature to me i see this fragrance as a very mature clean luxurious perfume it's giving me that clean girl aesthetics rich that's literally how this perfume smells like 
I'm so happy that I finally sampled Good Girl Gone By because I've been curious to know what this one smells like. The next one I'll be talking about, Prissy literally put this fragrance in my mind and I've been so restless ever since then. That is Atra Preps from Louis Vuitton. You guys know how expensive Louis Vuitton is. So for you to get it in an affordable version, which is this perfume oil, ah, oh, guys. The hype is justified. This is a very sweet, fruity, girly, feminine scent. If you love feminine, fruity, girly scent, you would absolutely love this. Very juicy. I think it has raspberries in it. It probably has strawberries in it as well. It's such a pretty scent. So if you have been eyeing a trap from Louis Vuitton and you feel that it is too pricey for you, you can get this Luxudor perfume oils. I'm definitely going to order bigger sizes of my favorites which I'm going to talk about at the end of this video and they linger so beautiful like while I'm moving my hands I'm literally smelling them the next one I'll be talking about which I've had on my mind for a while is Balda Freak so this is Balda Freak from Byredo the hype on this perfume and it's so so pretty guys let me spoil it for you this Balda Freak is one of my favorites from all of them I have a lot of favorites but this was the one that was an instant love immediately i tried it on this is a sweet slightly creamy clean soft scent this fragrance literally smells like a warm hug it's so cozy if you are curious to know what balda freak smells like i think you should get this luxador perfume oils because this is amazing i have tested balda freak once in a store and i have not been able to get that fragrance off my mind what well, immediately I smelled this, it reminded me exactly of that fragrance. So this fragrance is like, to me, 99% spot on. If you have some niche fragrances that you haven't been able to get, try Luxodor perfume oil. Next one I'll be talking about is Mare and Tonka from Jo Malone. The only Jo Malone fragrance I have in my collection is Scarlet Poppy. That's the red one. So I have been scouting to find another Jo Malone fragrance to add to that Scarlet Poppy. And my eyes have been on Mare and Tonka and Velvet Oud. This fragrance to me leans more masculine than feminine. So I'm not really a fan of this one. It has this sweet thickness. That almost smells like pear but then it has something masculine that coats around it that i'm not really a fan of but this would smell beautifully on a man i'm guessing it's that mare i don't really know what mare smells like the undertone of this fragrance i absolutely love that's that thick sweet tonka bean i love that undertone but the top smells slightly masculine to me if you're a man that wants like a sexy masculine perfume Try Mare and Tonka from Jumalone. The next one is How Sexy by Penhaligon. So you guys know I'm a huge Penhaligon lover. I have Changing Constance. I have Bewitching Yasmin. I've been looking for one more to add to my Penhaligon collection. So I've been confused between How Fetty and one other one. I'll put the picture up here. When I saw that Luxodor had it on their website, I grabbed it. But when I tried this perfume, that's when I knew that How Fetty is not for me. This perfume is an oody scent. You guys know I'm not an oud lover, but it smells very very rich it smells classy it has this prominent wood note it has some spiciness in it as well or maybe i'll test out the other one thank god i did not blend by it but if you are an old lover i'm sure you're going to love how fetty like this smells like a very rich expensive wood scent so that's how fetty from luxador perfume oil another one that i got that i've been curious to try is celia from Byredo. I've been eyeing this one and Vanille Antique. Actually, I don't have any Byredo fragrance, but I've tried Casablanca Lily before. I had it in my collection, but I decluttered it because it's a very floral scent. It has this, I, I think it's Lily, a neat that I'm not really a fan of. I love this. It smells slightly woody, but then there's this greenness in it that kind of overshadows that woodiness. This fragrance reminds me of Santal 33 from Le Labo. So it has a little bit of that Santal 33 DNA. But then there's a little bit of greenness in this fragrance. I absolutely love it. So that's Celia by Byredo, a creation from Luxidor Perfumes. The next one, one of my faves on YouTube, Demi Rollins. I've been watching her for years and she has talked about this perfume before. When she talked about it, I was curious to know what it smells like. So this is Zen Shiseido 
I've been wanting to try this perfume, but it has been sold out. I don't know whether it has been discontinued. It's like a very fresh, clean, sweet fragrance that is not doing too much. It smells very elevated, very classy. It smells really good, guys. I know that Demi Rolling does not disappoint whenever she recommends a perfume. It kind of has this zinginess, this brightness, like a lemon brightness in it. I think it has lemon in it. And then it starts to settle into this sweet, powdery, clean scent. So, so pretty. So that's Zen Shiseido, a creation from Luxidor Perfume Oil. And the next one I'll be talking about is Ambre Louis from Christian Dior. Christian Dior is another perfume house that I have been curious to try. I think I have two fragrances from them, Vanilla, Diorama, and Fair Delicious. So I've been curious to try Ambre Louis. It smells slightly spicy. It has this woodiness in it, but it's not like this skunky, animalic, woody scent. It has a little bit of mint in it as well. So it's very ambery. Like it literally smells like neem. It smells like a dark amber scent that has a little bit of spiciness in it to make you smell very unique, very rich and wealthy. I absolutely love it. So that's Ambre Nuit by Christian Dior, a creation from Luxidor Perfume Oil. Now the last two I'm going to be talking about, I have them in my collection. So I bought these ones specifically to confirm if they actually smell like the actual fragrances. So the next one is Manifesto by YSL. This perfume has been an obsession for a very long time. This is literally my second bottle of Manifesto. So I intentionally wanted to get this Manifesto oil so I can compare them if they actually smell alike. If you don't know what Manifesto smells like, Manifesto is literally a mixture of lavender and vanilla. Such an amazing, calming, sexy fragrance. If you're looking for a warm, cuddly scent, this is a perfect scent. If you're looking for a signature scent, you can also use it as your signature scent. This perfume is like 100%, 100% similar. Immediately I smelled the perfume oil because I know what Manifesto smells like. If you felt that there will be differences between the oils, there's no difference at all. Like this fragrance smell 100% alike. So that's Manifesto perfume oil and Manifesto by YSL. These two, spot on. So then I was like, let me try another one that I also have in my collection. So I got Libre by YSL. Since I have the actual Libre in my collection, I thought to get the perfume oil so I can compare and contrast. Ugh. Even if I'm sleeping and I perceive this scent, I would know that this is Libre by YSL. If you don't know what Libre smells like, Libre is heavy on the lavender and also it has a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of florals as well in it. It's, I think it has orange blossom as well. It's so pretty, like your sexy date night scent, like your signature scent, you can literally wear this anytime. And if you feel that this perfume is too pricey for you, just get Luxedor perfume oils spot on. So that's Libre by YSL and Libre from Luxedor Perfume Oil. Now to my top three. I'm going to exclude the ones I have in my collection already. My top three are Good Girl Gone Bad from Killian, Atra Preps from Louis Vuitton, and Balda Freak from Bayredo. Guys, these three are my top from all these perfume oils. I love that I can get my favorite designer and my favorite expensive niche fragrances for less with Luxedor perfume oils guys. I'm going to be ordering more. You guys will be seeing more of these oils and I love how handy they are. So you can just throw them in your bag if you want. You can get the box of 10. Just go to their website or message them on Instagram to order yours. I'm putting you guys on different ways to smell amazing for less. You guys should not say I didn't do anything for you. So if you want to smell expensive for less, try out Luxedor perfume oils. So that's my thoughts on these fragrances. Let me know in the comment section which one you have tried or which one that you would love to try. Are you going to be ordering from Luxedor Perfume Oils? Let me know in the comments. You know, this is my first collab, so I want you guys to turn up for me. I'll be leaving their website down in the description and also their Instagram page so you can go ahead and place your orders. They ship worldwide. They are very affordable and you are going to absolutely enjoy this perfume oil. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of this episode. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't, drop your sense of the day in the comment section. I would love to connect with you in the comment section. Thank you guys for tuning into Bella's Perfume Diaries. I'll be seeing you on my next episode.
Bye. Basics, my lace is stronger.